everybody, it's Sandy, and we are doing Chapter 7 in Robert McGee's Search for Significance, The Blame Game. So, let's get started. Okay, let's pray real quick. <laughs> Father, we just thank you, Lord. I always just want to pray that your word will go forth. Your word will go forth. And as your word goes forth, it accomplishes the things that you purpose for it to accomplish, and it does not return to you void. And it bears fruit in our lives, Lord. And so let that be the case here. And we thank you for your word that does go forth and your anointing on your word. And we thank you and praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. So we, uh, the first sentence in this chapter Robert McGee says our perception of our su success or failure is often the primary basis for evaluating ourselves and others. So we often feel that we need to be punished or punish others for, you know, if we fail, we feel like we need to punish ourselves or we need to be punished somehow. And if we have that really hard attitude on ourselves we're going to have that on other people too um my mom when I was growing up she she was carrying so much guilt about mistakes you know and just she just carried so much guilt she was a Christian she knew Jesus but she did not have a re revelation of this truth and she would just as she carried that guilt, she would project it, you know. We weren't abused, you know, but we, but because she had that, that nagging sense of guilt, you know, that it was just heavy. There was a heaviness, and it created, you know, some dysfunction in our home, you know, that you would expect because she couldn't get over her perceived mistakes. And... Um, Anyway, so one day she was set free from that. And I'll say, I say one day, but when it was like a period of time she started, she got set free from it, and I saw the change in her life, and that's what made me know I needed Jesus in my heart. So we can't be carrying around this stuff because <laughs> we got to carry around that joy and that lightheartedness that God wants us to have and and he can come through that. He can't come through this sense of guilt. And we can't be punishing ourselves all the time. Jesus took it. Jesus took the punishment. Amen. He, when he did on the cross. But we need to get that truth in our hearts. Okay. So that, that comes sometimes as a, just this major revelation. But sometimes we have to kind of pound it into our, ourselves and get that revelation by by reading the word and getting into the word. And that's what we're doing here with Search for Significance. Amen. So the other thing that's happening now in our in our country is there are groups trying to blame. They're, they're getting very verbal about, oh, what our ancestors did, and we should be ashamed of our ourselves because of our color, <laughs> feel guilty about what our ancestors did and what, what we had nothing to do with. You know, but they want that guilt to continue so that they want to blame and they want to, and it is a game in that situation. I think it is truly a game, <laughs> but, um, but if you know, don't buy it, you know, it is not. So how do we reconcile it with the word of God? What do we do? What do we, what do we believe? Well, first John four eleven, God tells us, uh, to love to love them as God has loved them. Okay, so how do we... Um, that That is when we're dealing with other people. But we also want to, you know, love ourselves. Okay, that includes us. Okay, so um, Ephesians 4.32, forgive. We've talked about before, forgiving ourselves. You know, so... Forgive as Christ has forgiven us. Forgive them as Christ has forgiven them. And Romans 5, 7, accept them as God has accepted them. Amen? He's accepted them. 
So we're going to read, uh, I'm going to read the last, or not the last chapter, but the chapter, in the chapter, page 77 uh, in my book. You should, if you're, if you're reading this one, it's page 77. And how should we respond when another fails? If the person who failed is a Christian, and we're talking about if we fail or if they fail, we need to affirm God's truth about them to him or her. We need to affirm, and this is the whole theme of Search for Significance, that, that he or she is deeply loved, completely forgiven, fully pleasing, totally accepted by God, and complete in Christ. This perspective can eventually change our condemning attitude to one of love and a desire to help. By believing those truths, we will gradually be able to love this person just as God has loved us. Forgive him or her just as God has forgiven us. And accept him or her just as God has accepted us. This does not mean that we will become blind to the, to the faults and failures of others or ourselves for that matter, we will continue to see them, but our response to them will change considerably over time from condemnation to compassion as we depend less on other people for our self-worth. Their sins and mistakes will become less of a threat to us and we will desire to help them instead of being compelled to punish them. Amen. And as we, as we get that truth in us, our hearts will heal. And I suggest that you just take that, write it down, that we are deeply loved. Just write this down. I, and say it to yourself every day, 10 times a day, or whatever it takes to get it in us, but let's do this. Confess it every day. Uh, while we're doing this study, we are deeply loved, completely forgiven, fully pleasing, totally accepted by God, and complete in Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, well, that's the end, and I will see you next time.